Optical disk drive install, ATX. We're going to mount this SATA optical disk drive into this chassis frame. Remove the toolless latch from the drive bay we are installing it into. Slide the optical disk drive into the opening in the chassis drive bay. Align the rear optical drive screw hole locations with those on the chassis drive bay frame. The front bezel of the optical drive should be flush with the front USB and audio panel. Install the toolless lock ends into the screw holes. Rotate the center locking mechanism clockwise to lock. There are two ways to finish mounting the optical drive. Option 1. Locate the bag of screws that came with the chassis or optical drive. We will need two fine thread round head screws. Put the screws in the holes that are lined up with the chassis drive bay frame. Option 2. In the bag of parts that came with this chassis are toolless locks. If you have installed the screws on this side, remove them. Take one toolless lock and center locking mechanism out of the bag of parts. These parts should look identical to the one on the other side of the drive bay. Assemble the toolless lock and install it into position like we did on the other side. Notice the optical drive is secure and the backside panel has plenty of clearance. Locate the SATA data cable that came with your system board or optical drive. Both ends are keyed the same. Plug one end of the SATA data cable into the rear SATA data connector on the optical drive. There are four SATA ports on the system board with numbers silk screened on the board. We are using SATA port 4 for our connections. Plug the other end of the SATA data cable into SATA port 4 on the system board. Once we are finished, we will install the hard disk drives into our chassis.